presentation of Anime Championship Wrestling, a standard of CAW. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 ACW Elite Tournament Cruiserweight Clash. And we have now arrived to the final second round match of this tournament. We know the likes that Gone, Kazuki Muto, and Soma Yukihara have now advanced to the semifinals. We will find out our fourth and final semifinalist as Akira Kurusu takes on Izuku Midoriya, a well anticipated matchup. Let's waste no time. Devout following here in Sacramento. Let's take a look at the stats here from the Persona 5 video game and anime. One of the signature maneuvers is Let's Dance. This is his first ever appearance in an elite tournament ever. See how far he has gotten with Naruto's wisdom and training. As we take a look at his stats, the from the My Hero Academia anime, obviously a signature maneuver, the, the the Detroit Smash, if you will. And this is his first ever Elite Tournament appearance. So a bunch of newbies in this tournament. Look at that, both Akira and Deku shake hands. Good sportsmanship there. Bell is running. Here we go. The winner of this match. We'll take on Soma Yukihara in the semi-finals. That's going to be a very interesting contest either way. Collar and tie lock up and here we go. Deku, waist lock right behind Akira. You're able to counter that with a nice chin lock rounding Deku to the mat. Both men now exhibiting some chain action between the two competitors. Trips in from behind and Deku able to get the advantage in that round. Deku and Akira once again, back into a nice collar and tie, side headlock there by Akira, Deku pushing Akira on the ropes, pushes him off, Duck Sender, Lead Frogs over, Deku, but for Izuguri, nobody home, oh and Akira with a nice spinning drop kick, and down goes the hero himself. Both men are evenly matched so far in this contest, it'll be interesting to see who gets the upper hand. Going forward. Up oh, knee strike block there. Up oh, punch blocked by Akira. Kick there by Deku. 
Oh, nope, Akira, Irish into the corner. Akira, missed the drop kick. Deku moved out the way there. And look at this, Akira. Oh, my goodness. Full Nelson face out, sit down, cover. One, two, no. Deku busting that out early in this match. Good on him. And oh, and Akira trips Deku. And a Frankensteiner from the ground up. Okay, I see where this is going. I see what kind of match we're going to get here now. Oh, man. Akira now still on Deku here. Front face lock. Big elbow. Akira taking the arm here. Kicks the socket of Deku right there. And is going to use that same arm for a Russian leg sweep. Down goes Deku. The cover by Akira. There's one. There's two. And Deku able to escape before three. Akira so far in control of this matchup. Look at that overhead neck breaker sends down Deku. Gotta say this crowd is probably 50-50. Going by the way both men came out during their entrance. There's really no decisive crowd for either Akira or Deku. They just appreciate these two and how athletic and talented they are. They could very well be the cornerstones of the Cruiserweight division moving forward into this new season and beyond. Now Akira working on that arm of Deku, stomping it onto the socket. That's gotta be uncomfortable for Izuku. And Izuku just keeps going through the pain of that arm. And Akira is making it known that he is going up that arm and is looking to rip it off Deku as a souvenir. Into the midsection, Akira has a mother snap suplex. And if you notice that arm that was injured landed first. There's a cover by Akira. There's two. And once again, Deku able to escape. And look at that. Akira still on that arm, just going after the socket. Again, another pin attempt by the Joker. There's one. There's two. And a kick out once again. Akira so far in complete control technically as we're taking a look back at the replay. Nice spinning drop kick sent down Deku. And then this Deku would come back with this full Nelson sit out face buster. At least that's what I call it. And then Deku got tripped over on the turnbuckle and Akira nailed a Frankensteiner from the ground up. And we are back live and Akira still going after that arm. And I gotta wonder that maybe Akira is going after that arm because he knows that Detroit Smash is coming sometime soon in this match and he wants to negate it. He wants to neutralize it as weak as possible. Akira went for a drop kick. Nobody home there. Deku was able to scout it. I was shot by Deku. Oh, and Akira with an Enziguri anyways. Akira has been one step ahead of Deku here. I gotta be honest. Cover one. There's two. And once again, Deku able to kick out before three. Every time Akira is effective in his maneuvers. Oh, there's a frog splash by Akira. Cover. One. Two. And no, once again, Deku able to escape. No matter how much effective Akira is in his moveset, you know, Deku finds a way to escape and kick out before three. So how effective is it truly? As Akira, look at this, head scissors over Deku, rolling forward to put more pressure to that neck. Akira has really been seeking up on Deku's offense and arsenal. Probably was watching that match with Seiya and has now been able to pick and pull apart Deku's weaknesses. And if I'm Deku, he's got to do something pretty quick here or else Akira could be seconds away from winning the whole thing. Now Deku back to one knee here. Two feet now. Akira on the top here. And he's got it with a nice hurricanrana sending down. Young Midori on the cover. One, two. And Deku once again able to escape before three. It's that a diligence and determination that is keeping him alive in this match and tournament. Let's take a look at that hurricanrana from Akira from the top turnbuckle. We are back live, and Akira is just continuing to impress throughout this match. Close line missed. Deku now trying to come back, and he's got to come back swiftly here. Punch to the midsection. Deku from the top turnbuckle here. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. Looks like an inverted sliced bread from the top turnbuckle. Whatever it was, it was effective. There's one, there's two. No. Not just yet. Oh, look at that, a sweep 
from the legs. We saw him do that to say it in the previous round. And Deku now is starting to get back some confidence. Kick to the midsection. Uppercuts down the Joker. Deku is starting to come back in a big way here. He has completely controlled the narrative now against Akira. I may have spoke too soon. Here with the midsection kick. Deku kicks it away. Punch right there and Akira rolls out of the ring. That was wise to do it. Or maybe not. Deku goes flying. Oh my god. Suicide elbow. And that is exactly the momentum shift Deku needed in this match. Can you this again? Akira thought he was safe going out of the ring. But Deku followed him up outside with that suicide dive elbow. Sending down the Joker. And just like that, Deku has made himself back in the game. He has brought himself back when it was looking dire a couple of moments ago. Sends Akira back to the ring here. Deku now in control, but he's got to stay on control. You do not want to have Akira in a second gear whatsoever. Deku now. Santon takes down Akira. And Akira once again holding that leg there, covered by Deku. One, two, and a kick out by Akira. And if you notice with that pin attempt, Deku was trying to hook the leg that Akira was holding there prior. So something is wrong with Akira's leg here, where Deku may be focusing on it down the road if he wants to continue the streak. Crowdy and Sacramento behind Deku, but so they are for Akira as well. And what is Deku trying to do here? Is he going to go for what I think he's going to go for here? No way. This early? Akira's on his feet. Deku's going to go for it. No, oh, he went for the Detroit Smash. But Akira scouted it and knew that it was coming and moved out the way. Very wise there from the Joker. Match continues. Oh, no. Deku's going to block whatever Akira's going for there. Oh, what a forearm. And down goes Akira. And Deku's calling for it. Kick to the midsection. Went to carry to the ropes here. Kicks him down. Another kick down. He's got him up. Goes on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Akira counted it. Into the let's dance. He got it. One. Two. Go. Oh, holy crap. How the hell did Akira counter that? Look at this again. Take a look at this again. Akira was in dire straits. Deku was in firm control. But somehow, some way, Akira was able to counter Deku's momentum against him and go for his patented Let's Dance. Hits it perfectly on Deku. And Deku was still able to kick out before three. What a matchup to close out the second round here, folks. That's how much this tournament, that's how much this division means to these competitors here in this tournament. Kicks on the leg again, and Deku with a leaping close on the follow-up. I'm sure Naruto Uzumaki, Impulse World Champion, is watching Deku as protege. Put it all! Oh, he got the Detroit Smash! He's got it! The cover one! Two! Oh, 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 oh no! Akira somehow escapes the wrath of the Detroit Smash. I was trying to say Naruto has to be watching Deku loving what he is seeing from his young protege. Who to better have a mentor than the likes of Naruto? Oh, what a spinning wheel kick to perfection. And I think Deku realizes he is moments away from capping off a semifinals. Oh, and Akira drop kick Deku. Holy shit. These two just keep going back and forth. Now, what the hell is Akira doing here? Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. No, no. Oh, my God. Joker's wild from the top turnbuckle. Akira, one, two. Akira has finished Deku. Where in the hell does Akira get that from? From the top turnbuckle, a Joker's wild. I don't give a damn who you are. You can count to a thousand. Nobody is escaping that kind of maneuver from that kind of height with that kind of precision. Akira Kurusu is the final semi-finalist of the tournament and he will meet Soma Yuki 
to put on a valiant effort, but his run ends here. Go extending the hand here. We shook hands earlier before the match. Deku doing the right thing, showing great sportsmanship, shaking Akira's hand. Deku will be back. I can promise you that. But on this night, Akira is going to the semifinals to take on Sonya Ikihara. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see you at the semifinals. Until then, stay cool.